Hi, let's learn on the topic mensuration of class 8, exercise 11.1. Let us first recall some of the uh, perimeter of some man areas of some figures which we have already studied. So, we will have the square with sides A. We will have perimeter, we will have area here. So, the perimeter of a square will be 4a, area will be a into a. Next is rectangle of length L in breadth B. Perimeter is 2 into L plus B, area will be A plus B, L into B, sorry. Now, triangle this is the base and this is the height so the perimeter will be sum of the lengths of all the three sides and its area will be half into breadth into height. Now, parallelogram two times the perimeter, this is the perimeter, two times the lengths of the adjacent sides and the area will be B into H. Now, let us move on to the exercise. Exercise 11.1 question number 1. A square and a rectangular field with measurements as given in the figure have the same perimeter. Which field has a larger area? So, the, the first figure is 60 meter. This is square. Now, the area of the square field is 60A into A. So, 60 by 60 meters which is equal to 3600 meter square. Now, the perimeter of the square field is 4 into 60 which is equal to 240 meters. Therefore, the perimeter of the rectangular field is 240 meters. Now, considering the next diagram, here the measurement is 80 meter. So, breadth is not given 2 into L plus B is equal to 240 because they have the same area. Now, 2 into L is given as 80 plus B is 240 where B is the breadth. So, 80 plus B will be 240 by 2. B is equal to 120. 80 comes this side. B is equal to 40 meters. Therefore, the area of a rectangular field is L into B, 80 into 40 which is equal to 3200 meter square. So, the area of the square field we saw as 3600, area of the rectangular field is 3200, the same area. So, the conclusion will be the 
square field has a larger area question number 2 Mr. Kaushik has a square plot with the measurement as shown in the figure. She wants to construct a house in the middle of the plot. A garden is developed around the house. Find the total cost of developing a garden around the house at the rate of rupees 55 per meter square. Now, this is the house this is 15 meter this is 25 meters and the breadth is 20 meter This is 25 meters and this is 20 meters. Now this is the garden. This is what is given. Now the area of the square plot is 25 by 25 meter square is 625 meter square now the area of the house is equal to 20 into 15 equal to 300 meter square now we will have to find the area of the garden which is nothing but the area of the the whole square plot minus the area of the house which is nothing but 625 minus 300 which comes to 325 meter square therefore the cost of developing the garden per meter square is rupees 55 therefore the total cost of developing the garden is nothing but rupees 325 into 55 which is nothing but Rupees seventeen thousand eight seventy five. Question number three. The shape of a garden is rectangular in the middle and semicircular at the ends, as shown in the diagram. Find the area and the perimeter of this garden. And the length of the rectangle is given. This is semicircular at the ends and this is given as 20 meter and this is given to be 7 meters. So, the area of the garden is equal to area of the rectangle plus area of the two semicircular ends now here l is given to be 2 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 meters now the area of garden this is equal to area of the rectangle 
equal to L into B. This is nothing but L is 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5. B is 7. So, which comes to Okay, now we will find the semicircular ends. Area of two semicircular ends is equal to 2 into half into pi into r square. They both are semicircular ends. So, 2 ends, so 2 into and half the semicircle. So, half into pi into 7 by 2 into square. Now, area of the garden equal to the same expression we are just going to add 3.5 plus 3.5 into 7 plus 2 into half into pi into 7 by 2 the whole square meter square. It is nothing but 13 into 7 plus 49 by 4 pi meter square 91 meter square ok we will have meter square here 91 plus 49 by 4 into pi value 22 by 7 which is nothing but 91 plus 77 by 2 meter square which comes to 259 by 2 which is nothing but 2129.5 meter square. This is the area of the garden. Now, the perimeter of the garden will be is equal to 2 times L plus B. 2 into L plus B 3.5 this is the value of L plus 2 times by 7 by 2 which comes to 26 plus 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 26 plus 22 which comes to 48 meters problem number 4 a flooring tile has the shape of a parallelogram whose base is 24 centimeters and the corresponding height is 10 centimeter. How many such tiles are required to cover a floor of area 1080 meter square? The area of a flooring tile equal to 24 into 10 centimeter square. equal to 240 area of the floor equal to 1080 meter square converting to centimeter square so it's twice square so it's 100 into 100 centimeter square therefore the number of tiles required equal to the area of the floor divided by the area of a flooring tile which is nothing but 1080 into 100 into 100 divided by 240 which comes to 4,000, 45,000. So, this is the number of tiles required. Question number 5. A 
an ant is moving around a few foot pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor so which foot piece would the ant have to take a longer round remember the circumference of the circle can be obtained by using the expression c is equal to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle perimeter of the foot piece for the per first uh, this is measuring 2.8 cm so semi circle so this is figure number a perimeter of the foot piece is nothing but pi into 3.8 2.8 by 2 because it is semicircle plus 2.8 this length so that is this diameter 222 by 7 plus 1.4 plus 2.8 which comes to 4.4 plus 2.8 This is equal to seven point two centimeter. Now next B. This is two point eight centimeter. This is one point five centimeters. This is two point eight centimeters. now perimeter of the foot piece is 2.8 plus 1.5 this side plus this 1.5 plus this 1.5 plus the there is this arc 28 by 2.8 by 2 which is nothing but 5.8 into plus 5.8 plus 22 by 7 into this 2.8 by 2 will be 1.4 5.8 plus 4.4 which comes to 10.2 centimeters. C This is two point eight centimeters. This is two centimeters. This is two centimeters. Perimeter of the foot piece is two plus this length plus this length two plus pi in two. 2.8 by 2, which comes to 4 plus 22 by 7 into 2.8 by 2. 4 plus 4.4, which is equal to 8.4 centimeters. Therefore, the ant would have to taken. A longer round of round for foot piece B because that is the longer one ten point two centimeters.